What's up, family? I'm here doing some old school work, like folks don't do no more, ironing their clothes, but hey, have to look cleaner all the time. So I'm here getting my clothes ready because I have to look clean at all the times. Anyway, I got a video here that I dropped on you guys about this lady that's speaking about all the diseases seems to come from Africa. Everything, every disease that pop up now seems to be coming from Africa. Like Africa is the only continent in the world that only produces diseases. Now the sister break it down for you. Now we know that where the black plague came from. You know what I'm saying? I wipe out almost half of Europe. But see now, every virus that comes around, oh, it came from Europe. It came, sorry, I'm, my bad. It came from Africa. And as people know, the YouTube try to block all the videos from people spreading the truth, but what they don't understand is very simple. Like I said before, this is the time of Aquarius. All hidden lies have to surface. So regardless of whatever they do, whether they block, strike you, delete your channel, suspend you, the truth have to come out. So don't care what they do. It is not going to stop the truth from coming out. So I'm going to try to put a clip here. So you guys can listen to what the sister is talking about. And she literally break it down for you. Literally break it down for you about the purposes. We know for sure that the syphilis was spread to the Tuskegee men back in the day to see how they're going to react to it. And then years later, they came out and admit, yes, we was experimenting on the Tuskegee men with syphilis to see what's going to spread. The same thing happened with smallpox and Indians. The smallpox and the Indians, the same thing happened. They experimented on the Indians with smallpox to see how it's going to spread. We know in Africa, the same thing happened too. The Africans said from the time the Caucasians come there and bring their food, they start getting sick because they're not accustomed to be eating that kind of food. So you see folks, when they keep telling you that everything bad Come out of Africa. Nah, don't fall for the hype, folks. Don't fall for the hype. We know better. We should know better than that now. See that we are now in the informational age. Because back then, we didn't have the information this quick to know what's going on. Now, as soon as something happens, you're going to research it, Google it, YouTube it. You can do anything. You can find information. You can go on any website and find information. And the documentation is there for any information you want to know. So like I said before, folks, I am going to copy this video here and post it so you guys can hear what the sister is saying. I'm breaking it down for you as simple as possible. Until then, folks, always be kind and loving and caring and humble. Show love. Try to do a good deed one day for anybody. Whether right? you pay some person for a sandwich. Whether you help some person across the street, help some person put their groceries in the car, try to do one good deed a day so we can bring back love and peace and harmony and togetherness on this planet because we need it, folks. We need it. We need it. Especially some of these young folks. You don't have no respect for all the people. We got to check them. You got, I do. I check them. Those young kids that are acting stupid, you got to check them. I mean, don't be scared. Still protect yourself because these young kids don't give a damn anymore. But still, check them. Keep them in check. Even some of these old folks too. I think because they're old, they can say anything they like. Nah, I don't play that either. I don't play that shit. No, 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 no. Or they can, you, you don't, they can try to push in front too because they're old. Nah, I ain't playing that shit either. Nah, nah. It's give every person respect. Regardless of what color they are, you have to give people respect. On the day, folks, I'm out of here. Peace out, as always. That's separation. Togetherness. One love. I'm out of here. This is going to be a very, very interesting topic today. Today, we are going to talk about the weird coincidences with monkeypox. Hold on, y'all. Never, ever forget. So, Mr. Joe, it seems that you want to warn us about the monkeypox, that we should be very concerned about it. Well, what I'm just very concerned about is when you look up monkeypox, they like to show a lot of black people. But when you go to the World Health Organization page, I do not see Africa. But every time you go on the news, they're showing a black person with it. Now let's just pay attention to where monkeypox were identified at. In the Democratic Republic of Congo. Didn't the Ebola virus first break out in the Democratic Republic of Congo? The propaganda that you guys try to put against Africa is just sickening. That it's an infectious disease continent. 
But didn't a lot of diseases come from Europe? Trying to colonize every place. Bringing y'all diseases and infections with y'all? I'm gonna give y'all an example. Before the Columbian Exchange Act, American natives didn't have smallpox, chickenpox, malaria, measles, whooping cough, plague. None of that existed before colonization. I wonder if that was the same situation for Africa. Now it is said the outbreak occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. You know how y'all like to do research with their gold, their land, and their animals? Kind of reminds you of the movie Planet of the Apes, when the humans were doing research creating a virus that they couldn't contain. I'm just saying we gotta stop believing the propaganda that they're putting on Africa. Remember where everything came from. Y'all brought all y'all scientific stuff for research and created something y'all can't contain. Then wanna say it originated in Africa. Let's be more direct and stop blaming all the world health issues on Africa. I would say stay safe, but stay dangerous.